I think the issue here is really Germany coming to terms with its own ethnic diversity. I think that's something that it tried to avoid for a long time. I remember, I think not even 20 years ago, maybe 20 years ago, um, around the time that the word Leitkultur got introduced into the public discourse, there was there were also uh, some conservative politicians saying that Germany is not a uh, an immigration country, Ein Wanderungsland, and that was just such a bizarre statement. I mean, where are all the kebab shops from, Greek restaurants, Italian restaurants, whatever, um, not to mention people giving them cheap labor. So I think there's a kind of denial there, which in turn comes from the fact that German society I think was whiter than a number of other European societies for a long time. And it was only really after the war, even a couple of decades after the war, when all these so-called guest workers started coming, that things were started changing a bit. And of course, they were not seen, even their children, often are not seen as Germans, you know, from a, let's say, Turkish background. They're just seen as Turks by the by the Biodeutsche, right? Um, I think this term is pretty much only used uh, sarcastically, because I think that when when actual white supremacists mean you know, Biodeutsche people with a white German ethnic background, um, they don't say Bio, they just say Deutsche, because to them, someone from a Turkish background uh, just isn't German. They're an Ausländer. I mean, it's like uh, when the Nazis referred to Jews. They didn't call them German Jews, they were just Jews, because if you're a Jew, you can't be a German. So, I think it's just an interesting example now of the the other, then, having a voice and turning it on the, the non-other. And at the same time, when, uh, sometimes when, when kids from a white background who maybe hang out with a lot of, uh, a lot of people from immigrant backgrounds, when they start using a word like Alman, which is just Turkish for, for German, and sort of appropriating a kind of outsider immigrant status, to me that's a bit, that's a bit like, uh, in America, white kids imitating, you know, black slang mannerisms from hip hop culture, say, because they want to be part of that perceived coolness. So I think what one thinks of these terms, or if one uses them, has something to do with, it's really about how one perceives oneself also, whether you're just like the other Kartoffers, or whether you're someone with a more critical eye, someone who can stand outside. <laughs>